Hollywood is full of horror movies, but not every film makes its way to the theatres. Just ask Guillermo del Toro. Sometimes a cancelled project ends up in the scrap heap due to budgetary concerns or a shoddy script. But there's always those select few that are simply way too horrific to get studio approval. Whatever the reason, some of the genre's greatest writers and directors failed to get their projects made, despite having ideas that would have scared us senseless for years to come. Pour one out for these movies that never were, my friends, for we barely knew them. I am the fleeting potential of Ash from What Culture, and these are the 10 greatest horror movies never made. 10. Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash The horror slasher film genre is never hurting for sequels, but the occasional crossover is a rare breed. As if the gods themselves were answering fans' prayers, however, 2003 saw the release of Freddy vs. Jason, and the age-old debate of which immortal homicidal maniac would win in a fight was finally settled. Mostly, anyway. In the ashes of that conflict arose talk of bringing back another classic horror franchise and mixing it with the likes of Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th. But sadly, the world never got to see Ash Williams strap on his trusty chainsaw, pick up his boomstick, and take on two of horror's most iconic villains. The film came close to happening after producer Jeff Katz offered up a treatment, but thanks to Sam Raimi's refusal to extend the film rights to his character at New Line Cinema, Ash never got a chance to kill Hollywood's baddies with epic one-liners. There is some light at the end of this tunnel, though. The concept was, of course, turned into a six-issue comic series appropriately titled Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash. Gotta be thankful for the small wins. 9. Halloween – Michael Myers vs. Pinhead Another potential horror movie crossover the world never got to see would have pitted Haddonfield's scourge Michael Myers against Pinhead in a Halloween slash Hellraiser mashup the likes of Hell have never seen. Unfortunately, it didn't get made, but it came closer than most. Clive Barker, the man who bought us Hellraiser in the first place, got busy writing the script, as incidentally the only way John Carpenter would get involved was if the two could collaborate. This was serious business. Both creators were working together to bring their creations to life so they could duke it out on the big screen. The project hit a snag, though, when polling from the fans indicated it wouldn't work well. The creators were working on a psychological horror movie with one of the genre's great slasher villains, and fans didn't like the idea. With little fan support, the producer pulled out and the creators were forced to move on to other projects. Sadly, this one never made it to comic book form, and the script has never been leaked. 8. Inferno Henri-Georges Clouseau was one of France's premier psychological thriller directors, and his 1955 film, Les Diaboliques, remains one of the best examples in the genre. By 1964, however, his career was somewhat waning, so he began working on Inferno as a sort of career rejuvenation. The film was set to depict an intensely jealous relationship between a husband and wife with allusions to Dante's Inferno, but the movie remains Clouseau's only unfinished work. Even with a generous budget from Columbia Pictures and hours of footage shot in both colour and black and white, the movie was never completed. Filming in the extreme heat of the Cantal region of France slowed production and made a lot of people working on the set sick, which delayed filming. Clouseau and the film's lead actor didn't get along, and a near-fatal heart attack hospitalised Clouseau for weeks. By the time the director left the hospital, the film was scrapped. But it can actually still be seen. Sort of. In 2009, several scenes shot from 15 hours of footage were cut into a documentary about the project, which was presented out of competition at the Cannes Film Festival that year. Small wins, remember? 7. Worst Case Scenario Zombie movies were once big business thanks to franchises like The Walking Dead and Resident Evil, and they were in their prime back in 2004 when Worst Case Scenario entered into development. The project came out of the Netherlands and featured Nazi zombies, which, as anyone who has played Call of Duty Zombie Mode can tell you, is a frightful prospect, and on the nose for the title. The movie began gaining traction in 2006 when a couple of trailers were thrown online to entice investors, but sadly, the movie failed to raise enough cash to get off the ground. It is still possible to see the trailers and pique your interest, but the odds of this movie ever being made are pretty much nil. The film's director moved on to other projects and even incorporated some of the same elements planned for Worst Case Scenario into 2013's Frankenstein's Army instead, which means it has basically been sucked dry. 6. Night Skies Steven Spielberg has directed and produced some of the greatest movies ever made, which is why a project based on a real-life account of a family terrorised by aliens sounds like an idea too good to ever pass up. Night Skies, then, was a shoe-in, and ready to launch with Spielberg attached as producer and Toby Hooper tapped to direct. But it never ended up seeing the light of day. 
Spielberg's involvement moved all over the place during the project thanks to the studio's desire to have a sequel made for Close Encounters of the Third Kind first and foremost. Instead of just making Night Skies in this mold though, the ideas were adapted into other projects as he gained other inspiration that suited the concepts better. This led him to use it as inspiration for another film, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. He later lent elements of Night Skies to other films he produced, including Poltergeist and Gremlins, both of which were similar in tone to what Night Skies might have been. If you're wondering about Night Skies ever being made, then you can absolutely forget about it. The source material has been used up and adapted into so many films, there is no chance Spielberg will make the original concept into one he himself heads up. 5. Resident Evil Yes, there is a film adaptation of the Resident Evil game franchise. Six, actually, but those movies weren't necessarily the films fans were hoping for. Originally, Resident Evil was on the line to be adapted by none other than George A. Romero, the grandfather of the zombie movie subgenre. Having Romero on the project made a lot of sense, as his film, Night of the Living Dead, was a direct inspiration for the game. Unfortunately, he wanted to keep the film's focus on zombies and make it less about the other creatures in the franchise, which Capcom really hated for some reason. Capcom threw out his script, and Romero was fired from the project as both writer and director. The films we got were closer to Capcom's interests, but they did stray somewhat from the game's origin story, unlike Romero's script. The franchise was given the green light for a reboot in 2017, but sadly, we won't see Romero's involvement as he passed away that same year. 4. Alien 3 Alien 3 is another movie that made its way to theatres, but not as it was originally conceived. The first draft of the film was penned by none other than the father of cyberpunk, William Gibson. Gibson's plan for the film featured Hicks and Bishop, with Ellen Ripley comatose the whole time. Not only was Ripley out of action, Gibson introduced the concept of a contagion that turned humans into xenomorphs. The action-packed script did have some appeal, but the producers absolutely hated it. They got rid of Gibson's draft and moved on with the David Fincher version that made it to theatres in the end. The likelihood of ever seeing this script made into a film is zero. The franchise moved on to make additional movies, prequel films, and crossovers with the Predator franchise, and also stopped Neil Blomkamp's Alien 5 from ever fixing the sins of the Alien 3 we got along the way. 3. Torso Brian Michael Bendis' work in comics has gotten a lot of love from Hollywood, but an adaptation of his graphic novel Torso never made it to film. A project based on the book was greenlit by Paramount in 2006 with David Fincher attached to direct, but production never got off the ground. After three years of nothing happening, the film rights reverted back to Bendis and production was dead on arrival. The story followed Elliot Ness's real-life pursuit of the Cleveland serial killer, and interest may have simply waned due to other projects. It isn't known exactly why the film never made it into production, but the problem may have been due to Fincher's film, Zodiac, which was similar in story and tone to Torso. Fincher went on to make huge hits for the studio and moved away from the likes of Torso, but it may not be completely dead. In 2013, David Lowry was attached to direct an adaptation, but he went on to film Pete's Dragon and Peter Pan, suggesting he too has moved away from serial killer psychological horror movies and into movies about men named Peter. And the film still remains unmade, despite the odd rumbling here and there. 2. I Am Legend I Am Legend was made into a film in 2007 starring Will Smith, but that was far from the first time the book was made into a movie. The plot of Richard Matheson's sci-fi horror novel was adapted into four films since it was published in 1954, but the one that was never made had sci-fi legend Ridley Scott attached to write and direct. The project was started in 1995 at Warner Brothers Studios, with Arnold Schwarzenegger cast in the lead role. Concerns about ballooning budget, $100 million and growing to be precise, Schwarzenegger's ability to tentpole a project, and Scott's dark, edgy script featuring almost no dialogue forced the studio executives to reconsider and pull the project from development. There is virtually no chance they would reboot I Am Legend with Scott's involvement in any way similar to his original vision, especially since it's already made a heap at the box office in another form. 1. Kaleidoscope Alfred Hitchcock is perhaps the greatest director to ever set psychological thrillers and horror to film, but even he couldn't get everything by studio executives. In 1964, he conceived of a prequel to his 42 film Shadow of a Doubt, for which he shot only an hour of silent test footage. The film followed the crazed exploits of a bodybuilder who enjoyed every type of heinous act. It was to be shot with handheld cameras in a first-person point of view, a method of filming that didn't become popular until the found footage craze four decades later. MCA cancelled the project almost immediately after only seeing the test footage. The studio found the lead character to be unlikable, and overall the content far too extreme for their taste. It's safe to say Kaleidoscope will never be made now that Hitchcock has passed away and there is very little original footage remaining. 
he did use some elements from the script in his 1972 film Frenzy. But that makes it even more unlikely the original concept can come out as its own treat at this point. Alas, we're just gonna have to dream real hard about this one. And that's our list. Which of these movies would you most want to see if by the grace of all things unholy, one of them did actually get made? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash over on social media at Ash Millman, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and head on over to What Culture Horror for some more spooky content. Thanks for watching.